Arts. And when I heard about this role, I wanted to be part of this because I do think that actually having the kind of impact that we can have across a range of councils is pretty fantastic. When this Johnza program first started, I went out and met with our member councils and said, what do you need help with? A lot of the smaller resource constrained councils told us that there's a lot of new stuff happening in this net zero space and they don't even know where to start. It's, it's easy to say we need a market transformation out of gas to electricity, but when you're in an electrically constrained area, that's not as easy as we think it is. Quite a number of the councils I work with, they don't have an environment person, they don't have a sustainability person, they may not have a procurement person either. And so the Johnson process allows people like me to actually help assist in some of those areas. We've helped councils do feasibility assessments for electric vehicle charging, community batteries, solar, heat pumps, the list goes on. Initial analysis from Central found $2.3 million savings across their councils in a six month period. We're not specifically out there to measure dollars and kilowatt hours savings. We are building capacity, but from that we are already seeing huge savings and huge benefits to councils. I think it's really essential that councils address their operational emissions. It is a good message to send to local businesses, but also to the community. It's very hard to ask the community to address things like net zero emissions reduction if the councils aren't demonstrating and leading the way. Just looking at a council level, how many opportunities there are to reduce the carbon footprint is huge. One of the real benefits I've seen from it is actually the information flow between the different council staff involved. I think that's the beauty of the network. It provides an opportunity for some councils to bounce off each other and also to effectively have a resource that's shared among them. We are learning a lot through this network about what it's like on the ground, what councils have and don't have in terms of resourcing. We hear it almost every day from our councils that they need this support and at the joint organisation level it provides a really good avenue to connect state government and local government and work together on the ground. We've only been doing it for a year and it's just scratched the surface but it's a, it's a long-term project. I think it's important to keep this going just to keep working with the councils and slowly implement their strategies. Having a conversation with one of my working group members and she said our mayor was never really on board with anything climate change but he is now and that felt really great. <laughs>